when I was in school, my last design studio, we were doing our getting ready for our final presentation, and one of my classmates, uh, his his buildings were not very dynamic; they were very accommodating, right? And so we were talking, and he asked me, you know, what it, what what would you like your buildings to be? And so this is, I'm 19, 20 at the time, pretty young and dumb. And so I, I just said, I want my buildings to be dynamic, right? And he says, yeah, that's interesting because I'd like my buildings to be comfortable. And, and, you know, when you're 19, it's like comfortable. What does he mean by that? <laughs> so I really didn't understand what he, had, what he meant by that. That stuck to me through all these years because I kept thinking about, you know, as a designer, you... You, you want to keep pushing the envelope, right? But at the same time, I kept thinking, what does comfortable really mean? And so as, as, as I was going through various offices, you start to learn what is the, the, what is the latitude of comfort. Right? It really depends on lots of people. I, I, I work for someone that would have two-foot hallways. You know, they, they narrow down like that. And he's the one that introduced me to uh, light switches and door handles at 30 inches. Everyone thinks, is everybody short in this uh, house? <laughs> so, um, I, I, I basically have progressed from, I still like dyna dynamic designs, but I'm also very sensitive to making sure that, I guess, quote unquote, not so much comfortable, but it works. It works for the budget, it works for the, the people that use it, because I'm, I'm always observing when, whenever something's built and we turn it over to somebody, I'm always watching to see how people actually use the design, okay? And, and uh, lately, it, you know, sustainable design has come in. And when I first heard the word sustainable design, I really didn't know what it meant because, like, sustainable isn't that what we do? You know, we build something so that you can sustain your life. And, and I, I didn't really understood until a few years later what sustainable design is. And it's, a, it, it's along the same lines as what my friend had said, is, you know, he wanted to do buildings that were comfortable. And sustainable design basically allows you to design something for people's use, depending on what they use, and, but at the same time, we are very conscious about materials, uh, energy uh, needs, uh, water, waste, those kind of things. Th those, those have come into play quite a bit, so that's sustainable design I mean, you basically taking care you know that you're going to be producing waste you know that you're going to be eating up energy you know that you're going to be taking up space you know that uh, what used to be uh, open space trees and all that meadows that you're going to half of that space would be a building and so the sensitivity comes in where yes you know that you have to put that in but at the same time you also know that you need to bring something back of the original condition of the site and I, to me, I believe that's what sustainability is all about, is, is being sensitive to that.